Hi, Robert Anthony here for Audio Tuts Plus. Logic Pro 10 is here, and with it, a host of new features and enhancements. In this screencast, I'm going to show you the new track stacks inside of the main arrange area. For me, folders were always an area that I was hoping would get improved in the next version of Logic Pro. And I have to say that I am not disappointed. There are two new features that are collectively called track stacks. You have folder stacks, and then you have summing stacks. I'll create three new instrument tracks in the arrange window by clicking on the plus icon. I'll load up some preset patches just for demonstration purposes. And now we have three normal sequencer tracks. I'll select all three by shift clicking on each one of them. Then I'll right click and you'll see a new option here for create track stack. The track stack dialog will appear and you have two options to choose from, folder stacks and summing stacks. You can twirl open the details area to learn more about each option. A folder stack will allow you to organize your tracks and do basic functions like volume, solo, and mute from the track stack. I'll click create and the selected sequencer tracks are now put into a new folder track stack. You treat this new folder track like a normal track as far as the track header goes. You can rename it. Move it around in the project and mute in solo. Clicking the twirl down triangle will expand the stack and show you the sequencer tracks that are contained inside. All of the basic functions of a sequencer track still apply. You can reorder the tracks. You can even drag tracks in and out of the folder. I'll record some MIDI information into one of the instrument tracks. Now, I'll copy the MIDI region to the other instruments. When you collapse the folder, the MIDI information appears in the folder stack's sequencer lane. From here, it works just like you would expect it to. You can now treat this as a normal MIDI or audio region. Logic handles the rest. I'll right click and select Flatten Stack to unstack the sequencer tracks. Next, let's look at creating a summing stack. A summing stack will route all the selected tracks to a bus. And if you create a summing stack with all audio or MIDI, the stack sequencer lane can actually control all of the substacks.
If you create layered sounds, or if you're doing multi-track recording, this is a great new feature that's going to become a quick go-to for your workflow. This is Robert Anthony for Audio Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.